want to go now to some memories that I have that pertain to question and answer sessions in my life. And I've picked only a few that involve Ayn Rand one way or another. Kind of like my development as an answerer of questions. I think that's relevant, to, you know, in background to uh, podcasts where all I do is answer questions. So I'll start with how bad I was. One of the first uh, years that I met Ayn Rand, there was a company of people in the room, and I was quiet because I was obviously junior to her friends. And they were talking about how would you establish the age at which a child reaches maturity and therefore entitled to drink and a driver's license, etc. And there was different views on earlier and later. So, you know, in my impetuous ignorance, I just blurted out, oh, well, I think I know what the answer is. Why don't we get a board of psychologists? And they can investigate each kid and say, yes, this one passes, he's mature, and this one doesn't, so we don't need that one age, we can adapt it to each person. And I thought, you know, that's the original solution. Well, if you know Ayn Rand, uh, she expressed her view of that, combined with her shock and astonishment, that a guest of hers would say such a thing. And I was baffled, what was wrong with it? And then she explained to me, how would they decide what maturity meant? What if they decided that maturity meant recognizing that emotions are superior to reason and that it's a naive, childish uh, idea to think you could be go by the mind or to think that capitalism would work in the modern world, etc. In other words, if you have as an official legal way of judging the privileges or rights of the citizens, a board of people, they have to have an approved standard, which means the government is in charge of evaluating ideologies, which means the end of the right of free speech. Is that what you're advocating? Because I was totally horrified. No, I never thought of that at all. And from that, I learned one important question, one important factor. Do not blurt out anything just because the words have formed in your tongue. Think about what its implications are. And, you know, you don't have to think for a year, but at least for five minutes before in a room full of people with iron rent, you come out with something. And believe it, I didn't really know that before. My idea of conversation was to just say what, what's there. You think about it later, but uh, it's much better to think about it on a time. So I learned that.